Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki, and welcome back to our co-op let's play on Shogun 2 of the Oda and Tokugawa with me if it is officially Devon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I assume you're watching this in the evening. I am about to attack the Hojo and see what happens, and it should be at least mildly entertaining. So, let's get on with it. <laughs> I hope so, indeed. So, it's been a while since we've seen a fight from you, haven't we? That's true. Yeah. I've been just sitting, sitting around sitting around Kai and Suliga for ages, just seeing if something was going to happen, but never did. So it's finally time to stir up some action. First, I'm going to lay siege to Sergamil. Oh, I haven't declared war on them yet. Okay, let's declare war on them. <laughs> <laughs> they have no allies. That's, That's very good. good. And they're at war with the Uesugi. Am I at war with the Uesugi? No, I'm trading with them. Are you at war with the Uesugi? Uh, I think I was, yeah. Yeah, they just attacked North Shinano, didn't they? And we oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, good point. How could I forget? Yeah, of course they did. Right. <laughs> well, it's been a week or something. Still. <laughs> it has been many days. I can't remember these details. Right, so I'm going to just make sure that Sagami definitely falls to us by attacking its one unit with two stacks. <laughs> so let's have some of that. I want you to resolve that assault. Go on. Let's try and get zero losses on this one. I'm expecting zero. It's a nice zero. Six the enemy losses. Zero losses for yeah. Tokugawa, Hirotada, and his men. Right, so we've got Sagami, the province with the blacksmith in it. So I can now start building up some decent units. So it hasn't yeah, been upgraded be at all, unfortunately. It's very mean of the Hojo not to have upgraded that for me. Indeed. Would you recommend the weaponsmith or the armorer? Which do you think is more it important? It depends. Uh, I think both work, but it depends on what kind of army you're thinking about building. Like, obviously, if you're going with an aggressive army, like, less archers, more melee, then go for full-on attack. Yeah. And if you have a lot of archers, then you might want to be more defensive if you're going to be sitting back having your archers do the damage. Mm. Yeah, well, who knows? I didn't really have a plan, but I guess I can wait because I don't have enough money to build it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll decide that at a future time. So I'll just quickly annihilate these... Oh, I don't even have enough movement points. There's these two little Hojo groups, but I yeah. actually don't have enough movement points to reach either of them, which is a bit rubbish. They're going to come and ruin everything in the province, no doubt. Actually, I can reach this one. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, they're just wandering off. Could chase them down. But I... sadly, he's not going to be happy about it. Yeah, no, that need... too. Plus, I'm pretty sure the uh, the Hojo army is going to be their main force is, is yeah, it's just in the fog of war in Masashi somewhere, right? As yeah, I vaguely so... remember, so it's probably going to show up. Hopefully, it doesn't it's... go for Kai. Yeah, That'd be that was what I was worrying about in the last episode. Is that they could attack Kai, which would be very entertaining. Oh, I've got this random unit. Yeah, she go. Let's throw them into Kai. So if they attack Kai, then everything will go wrong. But I'm going to assume they're going to try and retake Sagami, which. I don't know. Even if they do take Kai, I can then just rush and take Masashi, which is a better province than Kai. So maybe this will somehow play to my advantage. I'll lose all of my provinces and take all of the Hojo's provinces and we'll just swap places. I'm pretty sure theirs are better than mine. Looks like yeah. they are. <laughs> so worst case scenario is I lose everything and so do they. So I'm just dump some guys in the castle. That's taking it down to zero public order. Very good. And I'd put my main force to just stand next to it, because I'm going to assume they're going to attack. In fact, I'm going to put them in hiding next to the castle. See if I can tempt them into attacking the castle. That's a good idea. You might even get the opportunity of attack as well before they reach the castle. Yeah, because I'm going to. I'm assuming that they're not going to have enough movement points to attack the castle immediately. I don't know if that's true. I'm assuming they're going to come and stand in front of the castle, and then I can come out. But either way, if they do, it will uh, they'll suffer attrition as well, so that'll be good. Mm, that would be very handy. So. I think that's all. I do have a bit of money, so let's... Well, I won't build anything in Sagami because it's probably going to get ruined immediately. Let's just see if there's anything else I can do. Not really, actually. I can dump some post roads oh, back right. in the car. Uh, did we have all the cavalry units already? Oh, yes, that cavalry. I don't know. I know I, I definitely disbanded one, so I owe you another one. Oh, right. So I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I owe you one. Oh, on yeah, yeah. You were going to send them. Disbanding one. So yeah, I'll build I need one. Uh, I need two more. I can send you more money if needed. There we go. I've got one already in Kai, so you can have that. Oh, it cool. Towards North Shinano. And I hope, I'm going to try not to disband it. I'm going to concentrate really hard. Move my mouse over to the gift button. It definitely says gift unit. It doesn't say disband. Oof. <laughs> Success. <laughs> right, so North Shinano has well, got that extra unit. I've got a tiny bit of money. I can build a unit for myself. Let's throw something into Kai. I know I can't just build in the car. I'll just build some Ashigaru at Surga. That'll do for now. Now, I have some ships somewhere. Where are they? Yeah, I'm going to bring these ships to scout out Masashi. Oh, I don't have enough movement. Lame. I was going to try and see if I could see what the Hojo have, but I can't quite get close enough. Well, maybe they'll be useful next turn for something. I think that's all for me. 
got a tad of money left. I'm going to save it so I can possibly upgrade Sagami. So let's go back over to you. Oh, that's what we're seeing the Hojo turn first. So let's see how badly wrong my gambit of attacking them goes. Well, that's one some... unit going into hiding. Yeah, they're hidden Oh, there's the Hojo army. Oh, well, they attacked the Yamanuchi. Interesting. Indeed. Oh, they want a piece of me. They are right next to me, and they're attacking the Yasuji, so it's actually not bad for me. They're actually offering money straight off the bat. Oh, wow. Well, let's see if you can get some more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. This is good news. This means Masashi is as good as mine. Masashi, yeah, definitely. That would actually be the best province I've taken so far if I was to get Masashi, so that would be excellent news. I also need to take Izu. That's a good point, which is even better than Masashi, so I'll take Izu next. Because I guess it means they don't have much to attack me, so I can leave Sagami relatively unguarded. All Indeed. good news. So how much money have you managed to fleece them for? Sadly, nothing more than they wanted to offer me in the first place, 230, but uh, I'll take it. That's something. You can get a unit of uh, Yari Ashigoro or something, 130. <laughs> yeah. That'll be handy. Mostly it's just because they're actually, since you're taking their provinces anyway, I don't really have to attack them, and they're sort of defending yeah. me from the Yasuji at the same be fine time. For now. Looks yeah. like the Usuji are uh, bringing men down into North Shinano again. They're planning yeah. on making an insubstantial attack. Kind of annoying. Ikuiki, Ikuiki. Oh, oh, yep, dang. there goes the Anakakoji. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Oh, actually, well, it depends. I might be able to um, put them in their last province. If I attack uh, Kaga now, then they'll be stuck in Etchu, basically, and I'll have them surrounded as well. That's true, yeah. So they'll be in a bit of a bad situation. But of course, there's still the unhappy unit or the Ikariki religion and all that, which we'll have to deal with. Oh, the Hatana just declared war on me. Did they? Interesting. So Wakasa uh, is going to be in a bit of trouble. They've got that main force in Tango. The Ikariki are my ally. Oh, did I make them my vassal? I think, yeah, you, you vassalized them. Oh, they right. asked for it. And I think, I can't remember why. Well, Poss I guess I got... A... something as a jab against the Anakakoji in some way. I don't know. Do you want to join the war against the Atana that are really far away from you or no? Well, I could do. <laughs> I don't think I'll have much influence on it, but I could do it just in this, the spirit of solidarity. In fact, I have no choice, as I recall. I think we always oh, yeah. have to join each other's wars anyway. Well, I, I can choose not to oh, ask you Oh, you can not you invite in. me. Ah, yeah. they, they've offered me peace. This is an opportunity to make some cash. Okay. Indeed. Payments. Demand. Seems they're actually probably more powerful than me, so I don't know if I can really demand money. They're not going to take two thousand. This might not be a very, might not be a very profitable war. They would even give me a thousand. Let's make a very meager demand of one hundred. Come on, they won't even accept one hundred. Well, I'm not going to take peace with them because it's very unlikely they would trade with me. So there's no point in being at peace with them. So for solidarity's right. sake, I'll be at war with them. They probably won't attack you anyway. Yeah, they're going to ignore me for now. This does give me an opportunity, though, to just leave the Ikwiki for a little bit, and then I'll have to go west and just deal with the Atano instead. Although I do actually have an army in Omi, which I could probably use as well. That's true. It depends. I mean, yeah, you could just try and hold the Hatano, like, rather than attacking them. Just try and keep Wakasa and Omi. Yeah, exactly. And then buy yourself some time. The Ikwiki actually have tons of troops. They have an almost full stack at Kaga and a full stack with a three-star general. Yeah, they have a lot of units. So they're actually pretty powerful. And they are, let's see, who they're at war with. They are only at war with the... with you, actually. With me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I've got that Metsuke up there somewhere. I have no that idea what's weird. happening to it. I'm pretty sure they just joined my war against the Atano, so I'm not entirely sure how they're... That was nice of them. <laughs> yeah, but they're not at war. Okay, so I guess they went to peace oh, right they, away. Oh, yeah, the Atano must have made a peace deal straight That's away. That's a shame, because I kind of wanted them to join. Oh, well. Let's see if I can get some trade going. I still got the uh, little attacking music, by the way. Bug again. <laughs> oh wait, from the attack on Sagami. Yeah. Nice, it's still going. Well, I've got the pleasant drones <laughs> of the <laughs> spring music. I just realised I can use the Metsuke who I have just standing around in Echigo doing nothing to go and monitor the status of the Hojo main force and just follow them round and make sure it's safe for me to start raiding their provinces. So I should have thought of that before, really. Right, let's do some other things first, because I don't know what to do right now. Because I'm i still at peace around uh, Omi and such. I'm at yeah. war with the Ashikaga Shogunate, but not with, um, like, Hatakiyama and, and... Well, only the Hatakiyama, actually. Yeah. So I don't really want to go to war there. Uh, so I think, hopefully, if I move the army from Omi towards Wakasa, then I'm not going to get attacked. That's sort of... <laughs> It'll be tempting for the Hatakiyama, but uh, let's trust them. Yeah. 
But then again, I, I could just move my army from a cheese into a casa since the Ikoiki are my vassal. I'm I'm hoping they won't attack me, so I don't necessarily That's have true. to. I mean, you could even do both. Them. Combine those forces and then just completely flatten their Tano, because I'm pretty sure they just have that one stack, but their other things are empty. It looks like it, yeah. They might have something in Tamba that we can't see, but they probably don't. <laughs> so you might be able to just destroy them. I guess the, the problem is the longer we wait, the more entrenched the eco religion is going to become in Echu and Kaga. It's going to become more and more annoying. Yeah, that's true. Especially since it was spreading into Hida. There's not any more by the look of it. Depends if they rebuild one of their temples in either of them. Looks like there's one in Kaga, actually, yeah. Yeah, that one's going to stay so, annoying. So that's going to be spreading into Echizen. Actually, I think I I kept the stables here on purpose. I'm going to get rid of the stables on the cheese and I'll make a, a Buddhist uh, temple, because yeah. otherwise it's going to stay... Yeah, the Ico Monk present as well, that's just screwing everything it's up. Plus, and yeah, they're not it, very happy either, they're more minus seven. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's because I just moved out my arm. Yeah, gonna have to deal with that at some point. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Anyway, um... So we'll cast right, safe here. now, at least. So if they yeah, were planning, I couldn't just... put them inside, which is kind of annoying, but... Close enough. Put my generals inside, yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, and then in Omi, I... I think I'll just leave the army there. So, most importantly, my other army, the one in North Shinano, I could oh, yeah. catch up to the Ikoiki, oh, sorry, the Yusuji army that's standing right there, but I don't know if I actually, they'll, they'll probably run and I can't sabotage it or anything, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, so you wouldn't do too much good. But to be honest, I don't have any uh, reason of going north either, although there was, oh, right, of course, the Ikoiki took out the, um, Anika Koji, so the Anika Koji force that were about to take Hida got destroyed because yeah. they weren't in their own province. That's pretty That's handy. Pretty so thanks. Yeah, so I've got... <laughs> <laughs> They're a good vassal. We should Definitely, reward them. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got nothing to do there anymore, so probably it might be good for me to actually just go into um, the Yusuji territory and just take the offense towards them Maybe instead. Maybe just, just take it, yeah, because they're probably yeah. losing men against the Hojo. You may be able to take it without really having to fight them at all. Hopefully the Hojo aren't going to get there before me. Yeah, so I'll have a look in my turn. I'll send my Metsuke down to see where their main force went after taking Kozuke. That sounds good. Right, let me just do a little count here quickly. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Right, so I made a unit in Wakasa, which I don't really need. I just made him because I wanted to keep him, or I wanted him to use, or I wanted to use him to keep the happiness or something, but we don't need yeah. him anymore, so let's get rid of him. I have a Matsuke, Matsuke in Owari, which I guess I was going to put in Mino. Did I lose one or something? I don't know. You did lose one fighting with a ninja recently, didn't you? One of them was yeah, wounded. Yeah, I, I do remember I had yeah. terrible chances. Yeah, it's pretty unlucky. Uh, let's see, alright, so we, we still need to spend our money. I'm not doing much right now. I'm saying things, but I'm not doing anything. <laughs> the perfect Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, we could upgrade, uh, upgrade one of the forums, either in Awari or, Mina, or Omi. Those are both really good for money. That's true, uh, yes. They're both becoming pretty damn rich, especially Awari. It's the, the best province I can see anywhere. Actually, Kyoto yeah. is similar. Kyoto is the next best one I can see. No, oh, do I actually have enough money to upgrade the other one? No, I'm just a little bit short. I think I might just upgrade or increase uh, some roads somewhere as well. Wakasa well, is a decent one. We'll be moving through there quite a bit. Looks like it. <laughs> Very near Actually, future. A cheese will be even. Echizen's got so much road here. Yeah. yeah. It'd be useful. Okay. I. Oh, I have another um, cavalry unit I need to move as well. And then, yeah, it's just the last two that and they're gonna go in the third army and then I should be fine for quite a while for Cav. can make another ninja as well. I think that's what I'll do with the rest of my money, actually. <laughs> Very nice. Make him a North Shinano. Actually, no. Shit, that was terrible. Why did I just do that? I have a place mm -hmm. where I can make level 2 ninjas. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Well, that was silly. Well, just maybe he'll do some good. I deleted him. <laughs> He's not gonna do oh, anything. <laughs> he is not a media suicide. Fired on the first day. Harsh. Indeed. You have disappointed me, son. Right, mission successful. What was my mission? You successfully accomplished the mission. It doesn't say what it was, but I've been given a samurai somewhere. 
a unit of katana samurai. Where is it? It's, it's, back, in, it's your, in my uh, capital. Yeah, in Mikawa. Yeah, well, that's handy. Thank you very much. I wonder what the mission was. So, the question I have now is the question I touched upon in the last episode, which is that for me, taking Izu with the gold mine would be quite good. However, the Hojo are currently upgrading the gold mine to the super high level, oh, right, which is yeah. very expensive. So, to some extent, it'd be interesting if I could just let them do that and then take it once they've upgraded the gold mine because it, it's going to take me ages to get enough money to do that. I think you were planning on just leaving it for now and just taking all the other towns, Musashi, Shimosa, yeah. Kazusa, etc. Because they're probably just going to send out a unit now and again. So that unit that they sent into hiding was the unit of Yari Samurai, which is just standing there. So Yeah, what you could do is send the units from Kai into Sagami. I don't know if it's happy enough yet. Yeah, it is. So you can send them in yeah, and they can defend Sagami. That. Well, actually, one of them is going to come up your way. It's a light cavalry. Do you want them going north or west? Uh, yeah, send them north again. Actually, yeah, yeah, send them. Send them towards uh, South Shinano. South Shinano, okay. Yeah. Off I'll you turn go. that other one around as well. And let's gift him very carefully. Lovely. <laughs> right, so we've got four, three repression. Yeah, so all these forces can come out of Kai. Oh, yes, just before I do that, before I make any decisions, let's grab the Metsuke up in Echigo and let's find the Hojo main force. Oh, right. There oh, it is. There it's it is. marching north. Oh, it's got it. It's depleted a bit. It's got a good number of bow samurai in it. At least four units of bow samurai and mm. at least three generals. So it looks like it's a pretty decent army. Yeah. Can I get any closer and discover anything else? No, not really. Okay, well, yeah, they're marching on even while depleted. So it's going to be a race between you and them to get to Echigo. Yeah, they'll probably get there before me. They, However, they might um, make it. you obviously will just be taking towns... Um, from them in their rear. So yeah, they might decide to works. come back, <laughs> which would be a good decision for them. So I'm going to... I can't reach Masashi this turn, but I can start going that way. So I'm going to do that now. So first, I'm just going to auto-resolve my way through this tiny Hojo army. It's, well, it's not even that bad. It's a bow samurai and two yari samurai, but we have this massive advantage. Destroyed them. Almost no losses. Very good. Right, and now we'll start going on to Masashi. So next turn, Masashi should be ours. Indeed. I've got some forces left in Sagami. I don't definitely don't need that many. First, I'll just wipe out this unit of Yari Samurai. This is Yari Samurai hiding in the woods. Get wow, they didn't even run. Didn't yeah, <laughs> they wanted to fight. <laughs> right, so I need a couple of them to stay behind. In Sagami itself. More than that. Maybe I should put this group in an ambush position on the road from Izu, so that when they keep sending out units, I can just keep ambushing them. I would also say get rid of the uh, Siege Engineers Workshop and probably make it source. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, we are going to need to replace that. Let's start burning that down. I do now have the money to upgrade. So I have to make a decision. Do I want armor? Or do I want weapons? don't really know. I'm going to say weapons. Everyone loves a good weapon. <laughs> Leaves me with a tad of money. So I'll just put an extra unit in Sagami. Let's throw some Yari Ashikaru in there. And yes, I'm going to put this small group of archers and Yari Ashigaru to ambush on the road coming out of Izu. Can't quite get there, but that's probably good enough. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all I need to do. Unless I have an agent hanging around, which I don't think I do. Oh, uh. Oh, never mind, no. I thought I saw you have an agent in Kai, but it's a Mitsuki. Yeah, he's just sitting there. It's Kai, well, actually. I guess I'll move him to Masashi once I take it, because that'll be a better place. Right, oh, I do need to pick my art, because I've just mastered when I mastered tea ceremony. So I've got myself some delicious honor. So let's have a quick look around. Heaven and Earth. I love it. Right. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I'll quickly check the trade, because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> no one should have known. Iwasugi are friendly with me, so they actually quite like me for whatever reason. No idea why. I guess because I'm attacking the Hojo and they're uh, scared of the Hojo. So that's giving them good relations with me. So let's see what happens. Oh, that boat. I forgot about this boat so well. <laughs> they're not doing any good. But, ah, the, go. the ambush plan it worked. worked. <laughs> so oh, I'm just going to auto resolve that. We lost three men, the feet of 120. Unacceptable. Killed their families. Absolute destruction. So yeah, they just wasted the money on some bow samurai. Too bad. Ooh, there's a Matsuke. What's he up to? He's probably going to try and ah, take nice. the Ah, nice. Well, ah, not they ran back. Nice, but yeah. <laughs> it's bad it's for, for me, me, but it's good for you. Yeah. 
So it's neutral for the team overall. <laughs> nice neutral development. Oh, and they're following up. Ah. Oh, and these oh guys what's this? Annoying. <laughs> Sudden attack. Interesting. Don't make me go back for that. <laughs> that would be inconvenient if we just Ooh, try and hold. What is, oh, what is, the, what is this? What is this? I don't think they're coming for me. I think they're probably declared war on someone else. Otherwise, they probably would have declared war on me before they actually started. Yeah. With me. They must be going through. Hopefully. I'll see in the diplomacy. Uh, if not, I might move my army back. Oh, they're probably going for me because they're at war with me, aren't they? Oh, right. They're, they're and, going and for they're... Kai. That could be an issue. <laughs> that is definitely something that would be considered an issue. <laughs> that would be very bad. And look at this. Oh, thing. thank God he's attacking my they army and not my town. The castle. A fine choice from the Hatano. I wonder what they were thinking. <laughs> right, well, nice. um, yeah, I'll click the button so you can see as well. It's, okay. a, it's a pretty strong army, but they're attacking oh, me, yeah. so I'm not too worried. Full of Yadi Samurai and some Katana Samurai. But we should be getting a hill advantage, and Yadi actually got to take yep. on any unit I think on the it's Yadi Wall O'Clock. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> if I only think... Samurai knew about the epic technique of standing close together. Too bad they don't. <laughs> they haven't I still that don't understand. Yet. The Yari Samurai would be such a good unit if they had the ability. This is not a very good map. Oh, that's though. rubbish terrain. It's completely yeah. flat. Yari wall o'clock. That's what this episode's going to be called. <laughs> we could just put a Yari wall at the back, so sort of use the red line of death to protect the rear, and just make a sort of new box with the Yari wall pointing in all directions, and just wow, let yeah, them run at us. Could work because we have archer advantages as well, so they have to attack. Otherwise, yeah. we'll just win on archer. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> and we could use some of the some of the forest there as well as cover. Mm, that's true. So maybe it's not too bad. Indeed. At least it's not a massive downhill onto us. Yeah. It's, it's a neutral terrain. Would have been nice if we started where they start though, because they had that like massive yeah, that mountain weird at the back. Cliff thing. What's called yeah. that? Only, only one approach up it, so you can just have like five Yari walls, one behind the other. Exactly. Yeah. Last forever. Indeed. Oh well. Take what we're given, and we shall destroy them. It's the, the Battle of Obama, 1550. <laughs> oh, yeah, because in, in Fall of the Samurai, the clan that starts in Wakasa is called Obama, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. it's the, uh, the castle there. It's called Obama Castle. Oh, right, yeah. At least yeah. it was called Obama Castle. Oh, hang on. I've still got my controls on the machinima mode. One second. I've got it on the debug camera because I was filming something. One second. Uh -huh. Put it back on the regular camera settings. There we go. Right. So actually, there is actually, what's that hill? Yeah, in the middle. Yeah. That, that's kind of unexpected. <laughs> that's a really steep hill. Maybe we should it just is. use that. It's, um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, it's because of that giant hill in the back, like behind them. It's so high, like obviously the color always goes lighter the higher it is, right? So because it's so high in the back there. Oh, it's um, kind of, yeah, disproportionately colored everything else. Exactly, yeah. So it looks like a really tiny hill, but it's massive. Anyway, yeah, I think I'll just use that hill, to be honest. I have a lot so of the one we're standing on now. Yeah. I'll move my men forward a little bit more. And I'll probably yeah. still do sort of like uh, this on the edges. Let's see. Yeah. And then, yeah, I guess that'll work. I'm not quite sure what to give you. Yeah, I guess I'll actually just give you the horses. archers so you can do some uh, painting targets or something. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, right. And then maybe I'll give you the cav as well, but I'll see. Yeah, there might be some micro I can do. Okay, for now... I think the enemy are pretty much all spears, so the cav attacks might be not too effective. They did have some archers, didn't they? So maybe those archers will get isolated. Yeah. They had like four, I think. Okay, let's go. Right, let's sort this out. So they're coming right at us. Indeed they are. Let us set up the trap. Almost too many archers to fit on this hill. <laughs> They're gonna have to be yeah. squashed together. <laughs> oh well. They'll be alright. I'll extend the line a little bit. There we go. Right, where are their archers? They are at the front. Well, some yeah, of them are. They're in rushing the in into sort of weird formation. Yeah, there's not really any. <laughs> We're going to be able to outflank them on our left by the looks of it. They're going to outflank us on their, their left. Slightly. At odds. I oh, know they are sort of folding in slightly actually. Spread my units out a little bit more. Alright, it's gonna be interesting this one. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the archers shouldn't be too effective, we've got so much tree cover. 
then I'm hoping their archers will just waste all their arrows. But it's almost going to be bad for us because all of my archers will be firing through the trees as well, so I'm sure a good number of the arrows won't actually get through. <laughs> Should true, be all right, yeah. though. It'll be better oh, for wow. us than Oh, wow, they are setting up really weirdly. They are, yeah, it's putting at an angle. Interesting. Well, they're now just standing in range of my archers, so poor choice. That's well, good. they're bombarding fire arrows onto the uh, our right flank. Indeed they are. Mm, I wonder if they want me to move up. But then again, like we, yeah, like I <laughs> yeah. said, we, we do have archer advantage. So technically, we should win. But then again, they have more armor. Let's, yeah, let's just stand here. Not quite all my units can fire. One's on the edge cam. <laughs> They're just trying to tempt us forwards. Very inconvenient. This unit says it can't see what it's firing at. Well, fire at something else then. I'll move forward a little bit. See if I can engage with the uh, the bow unit at the front at least. <sighs> yeah, they actually want the skirmish. I guess they realise that we're going to Yari War, so they realise they can't possibly win at a frontal assault. Good yeah. decision. Right, I'm going to move the archers up with you. I can put more guys into range this way. So at the moment, yeah, most of them are just doing nothing. To arrows here. At <laughs> this point blank range. Yeah, they yeah, actually got her in trouble. Might just have to force an engagement. Yeah. Oh, there they come. Go. It started. Their general's coming right in. He's going to sacrifice himself by the looks of it. That'll be good for morale. <laughs> Danger, my lord. Yep, he's coming in for the sacrifice. That's good. Good choice. <laughs> oh, his men are falling so quickly. Right, that's the enemy general dealt with. Put some more pressure on those archers and fire into these blocks of enemy troops. Try and take out some of the samurai. Where are their katana samurai? Because they had a unit of katana samurai somewhere. I guess it's just somewhere in there. I can't see them anywhere. Looks like gonna make me collapse in the on the right flank there. Those three units aren't doing too well. Mm, yes, possible. Inspire them up. I'll try and flank around on the left of one of the uh, general units. Okay, well, I've directed the archers to fire mostly over towards the right. I'm firing into the Katana Samurai. I finally found them. Yeah, it's the Katana Samurai owning up this Yari Ashigaru. <laughs> what do these guys think they're doing? Go on, just fire. I dare you. Fire at the enemy. Go on, I'll pay you. Right, so hopefully those Yali actually go to sacrificing themselves should be allowing those archers to kill a good number of their samurai. So it's all good. I'm gonna start attacking their archers. I'm gonna attack those here. archers, okay. I'm gonna shift yeah. fire if I can. Let's see if they can fire over the top. I'm gonna do some friendly fire esque maneuvers to try and take out these samurai. Yeah, I think we've got most of them uh, stuck in melee now. Now we're doing alright. The middle is doing yeah, good. Yes, we're starting to win now. Yeah. It looks like you've kited some Yari Samurai with Nobunaga on the right yeah. flank. Oh, some of the Yari Shikara are falling back, but a brave few are fighting on against all these Samurai. The arrows are just cutting down the enemy there. Oh, and that's good. General ah, the General's finally sacrificed himself against our line. Good move. The centre's oh. sort of uh, clearing up now. You can sort of move those central units. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I did lose a now. few units, though. I don't know if they all actually died or not, but I lost a good number of men, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, one, one regiment's down to 24 men, so one regiment's pretty much gone. Then again, these are all Yari Ashigaru, the easiest unit to recruit <laughs> anyway. Well, uh, yeah, and the uh, Oda Yari Ashigaru, which are effectively free because they're so cheap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Them. Their lives are worth nothing. Poor guys. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell them. Yes, when they say, why aren't you paying us very much? We just say, well, your lives aren't worth very much. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not very good units. I mean, you're a really good unit, actually. But <laughs> you're really good. The game doesn't know that. We thought we'd pay you less for the privilege, just to see if you take it, and you will. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, go to the union. What are you, stupid? <laughs> all right, I didn't lose any entire units, so that's good. 24 and 25 is the lowest, but still. The rest is all doing very well, actually. Nice. They lost 1,560 men. We lost 1,070. Okay. Got some experience in the process, so yeah, not bad. So yeah, they were losing Samurai whilst we're losing Ashigaru, so even though it's exactly, not that yeah. far apart, they lost substantially more in terms of power and money. Indeed. So that might be the death blow for the Hatano. <laughs> might be able to finish them off now. Yeah, I might actually just take that army and just send them towards everything. All right, I actually got War Fervor plus two morale for all units because I eliminated a general in battle. Oh yeah, nice. 
mounting rust and a cheese and that, of course, that we have to I mean, deal yeah, with that. The still. army's in pretty good shape, so most of the units are fine. So no, just... the Ito have taken on Christianity. The Ito? Yeah. They're over in somewhere in Suruga. Not sorry, yeah. in um, They start Kyushu. in Os Os yeah, uh, Osumi and Kyuga, are, or Hyuga are oh, yeah. pro starting provinces next to the, uh, Shimazu. Damn Kyushu people. They just love Christianity. Yeah, they do it sometimes. It's annoying. Uh, right, I have too many Yariashigaru here. Right, and those two Yariashigaru, you may as well go up towards Wakasa, since we just lost some, well, nearly lost some units there. Uh, you guys get into Wakasa. Right, a cheese and oh crap. I nearly forgot, I need to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, they're not happy. So, exempting from taxes, and... I may have to send over a general and some okay units won't be able to reach. Hmm, that's not going to be good. So it's going to rebel, basically. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. If I yeah. just didn't just move my units right into a castle two seconds ago, I would have got <laughs> something over there. That is inconvenient. Actually, I might have a chance. Nope. Yeah, that's going to rebel. Okay. Well, well, I could just send my army from Wakasa over there anyway, which means it'll still rebel. But actually, it might reach. But either way, it'll it might still rebel, or I uh, and then I can kill the rebellion, and it'll be very happy. Yes. However, that means I have to either sabotage or do something with this Hatano army, or it's, it's going to take Wakasa, which I don't really want it to do either. That's true. And okay. then maybe I'd rather just let it rebel and lose it, and then the Ikui could get another province, and then. I mean, they're my vassal anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. I guess so. It seems a shame to give the Iko Iki more power. We want them yeah, to have that's less. true. Because <laughs> they're already so powerful with those two provinces. Is there they anything are. we can do? Like, how powerful do you think the rebellion's going to be? Maybe we can just send, like, uh, your subordinate general from Wakasa with some of those men and keep a force large enough in Wakasa so that if that oh, actually, yeah, I can, attacks, you can I probably can stop hold it. it. I can stop it from rebelling by sending both generals and making a unit. Ah, okay. So that will do. That will dodge this whole situation. Indeed. Uh, actually, let's do that. Send them there. Put the ninja in there. And then they can get in there. Actually, maybe could have actually even put units in there if I just send the general or the ninja in there, but it's fine. And then we'll make. I could make some bow samurai, but meh. Already. Oda. <laughs> we don't we care about those weird flying sticks. We want the sticks <laughs> that you hold and put into people. Exactly. I'm actually uh, debating whether I should attack Kyoto or not. I don't know if I have a second army. I know they have one army. They'll have, yeah, yeah one they have half. the second one, yeah. And it's probably just full of Yari Samurai or something. It is, but yeah, if you could siege them out, then it, it will be alright. Ah, yeah, of course, they're... sieging out will take about half a year. They've got all the dojos, so they could have anything, really. <laughs> Yeah, there's, um, I can see mostly, like, let's see, um, they've got like 10, maybe 15 Yari Samurai. Okay, so yeah. Samurai. so yeah, so we can get them out, have them enjoy some time against one of our Yari Wars, then we could turn the tide pretty quickly. I would definitely need a ninja to sabotage their weaker army for, or, well, sabotage their bigger army, take care of the weaker army, and then seize the castle. And siege it, yeah. Yeah. That would be well, it's all possible, go. especially because you can recruit those level 2 ninjas. Oh, it's just right going to say, let's it, do anyway. that before Convenient. I screw up again. Alright, uh, so yeah, level 2 ninja. Also, actually, this is upgraded to a ninjutsu school, which is the wrong one, I think, isn't it? Burukami village gives two ranks for ninja. Yeah, it is. Don't know if I have the money to really deal yeah, with that right yeah, now. Yeah, is it worth yeah, destroying it? Maybe in the future. Yeah, exactly. It's so super rich. Right. Um, okay, so we've got this uh, a sh a Yusuji army coming for me in North Yeah, Shinana. it's a North Shinana situation. So you've got that one squad of light cavalry, which isn't going to do much good against that Yusuji army, which is probably just Yari Ashigaru. We've got one chance of sabotaging it. Oh. Which we fail, of course. Duh. <laughs> can you see all of their units now? Uh, yeah, I can see they've got um, a lot of depleted units, so let's say about two and a half Yari Ashigaru units, uh, yeah. about two thirds of a Ashigaru and 38 Yari Samurai. Interesting, so yeah, they're probably going to take North Shinano if they really wanted to. Yeah, I could obviously just turn back, get rid of them, 
and then oh, still can you go reach for them? Chigo. Yeah, can you reach them with that army? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I guess now that the Hojo have turned back, it looks like the Uesugi have sent a force to go and take Kosuke. Yeah, which is kind of annoying, because then I'll... Maybe I'll just go out... Yeah, maybe I'll just turn back. I'll take out the Usuji there. I'll go towards Kazuke, take that, and yeah, then move up then north like, from there. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And hopefully they don't send another army towards North Shinano in the meantime. Yeah, that's the gamble. So we'll do a quick lap. Take them all out and see what happens. Indeed. Let's start off by killing this little Get force rid of here. these guys. You're going to stand next to my town. I think that's cool. <laughs> Not acceptable. Get rid of them. Oh, nice oh level, level four. Very good. All right. Infantry leader. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Infinite win. Campaign's over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good ability, isn't it? Oh, there's Chiki uh, Hojo. They've put some forces just next to Masashi, so I can't quite steamroll it now. How dare they? Oh, I can probably almost steamroll it. I mean, their force, if it has Samurai in it, it actually would be a match for my force, but we'll see. Right. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for that. Then there is still. Uh, right, we've done or dealt with a cheeson. There's the, the situation army. with the Iko Iki in that they're probably, in the next two to three turns, going to put their massive stack against me at Kai. Yeah. So I'm going to um, have to think about that because it means maybe I can't attack the Hojo so much. <laughs> well, then there's still. <sighs> Okay, let's see. They're gonna, yeah, two, three. It's gonna probably take them three turns to get there. If I yeah. have, if I can afford three turns, what I can do is I can move my army from Wakasa to take Kaga and my army from North Shinana to take Echu. And as long as their army hasn't taken a different city yet, it'll just disappear. Mm, that's true. <laughs> that I would mean, be a very interesting gambit. It would mean betraying my ally, but I know that your army from Wakasa can definitely reach Kaga in two turns. That's no nice. problem. Well, it's worth betraying that ally because I'm your forced ally. Obviously, yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm your ally by law. You have to do what I say. <laughs> I will, first of all, I think I'll just attack that army in Hat uh, the Atano army. Oh, yeah. It's probably not going to be an auto-resolve, though, and we don't have a general, which means our morales could not... Well, we've got experience to... Yeah, let's just not attack them. We've See got more looks. archers. They've have basically three ar or two units of archers if you pile them up together. We still have six, so we can just out archer them. Ah, nice. Yeah, we have so many archers. Oh, however, though, we should probably leave this for next time. Ah, right. Okay. Very good. <laughs> That'll be good. We'll see the slaughter of the Hatano. Yeah, it's going to be a fun battle, actually. You might develop a general as well, which would be good. Ah, that'd be good. And it's all their fault, because they declared war on you, so like this is a war of defence, really. Exactly. They wanted this to die. They volunteered to run at those Yari walls, so <laughs> we have to oblige. As this is what you samurai. get for defying the Oda and Tokugawa alliance. <laughs> You'd think they would learn by now. Indeed, I think we need to make but... the lesson a little bit clearer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, thank you for watching for now, and you'll see this battle next time. See you next time, everyone.